What's going on, people? This is Influencer Today. I got a throwback Thursday. It is PlayStation 2. Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe. I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. My trusty PlayStation 2 here. I'm just going to take a look at it a little bit, a little bit of history. This is what started me in gaming, really. I had a PlayStation 1. It's the first console I bought by myself, like with nobody's help. <laughs> it, it's the See, when I was younger, I had Sega and I had Atari. I think that was the only game systems I had. I never had a Nintendo. I played it a lot over my friend's house, but I never had a Nintendo. I don't know if I never asked for a Nintendo or if I just went the Sega route. It was like, oh, I'm going to be different. Cause I did that sometimes, but it, I don't know why I didn't have a Nintendo and all the other game systems that came out. I didn't have Super Nintendo, all that stuff. I didn't, I never got, I had an Atari. I know I'm dating myself. I had a Sega master system and that was it. And then I bought a PlayStation, the first one with my own money. And it was the first time I bought a system with my own money and I was geek. So that really started me, but I didn't play like that. Resident Evil was probably the only game I played a lot. Then this bad boy came along. PlayStation 2 came out in 2000, I think October 2000. I didn't do no research for this. Uh, I just remember because I remember going to Best Buy and buying this. And it was, it built, you know, you had the DVD player, you had the new memory card systems it still have memory cards with this one got the logo here you see the glorious dusty vents this is old some of y'all this is probably older than some people watching this right now uh had the usb ports i was like a usb port on a playstation on a game system and then the big thing i remember buying final fantasy just to get this I don't know if it came with it. I didn't really play Final Fantasy. And I'm not sure if this was separate or you had to buy a Final Fantasy to get this. This is the expansion that hooks up into, I don't know exactly what it's called. <laughs> it's basically a modem. And you had expansion port. You took it out. I, it's screwed in now, so I can't really take it out. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get it. It's probably dust filled, so be prepared. Oh, no. I don't know if the other part was in here. But here's this. It basically connected on to some other, I don't know where the drive is. The drive is not here. I think it connected on to the drive that goes into this port right here. But yeah, this was revolutionary. Hooked up the phone line and you played online. Like, that was the first game I played online. And then the game that blew it open for me that I spent too many hours, too many days of my life. I used to play all Niners. Everything was SOCOM 2, which is probably my favorite game in history, because not only was it an online shooter, it was a third person. I hate first person shooters. No offense. I know they're super popular now. And it is what it is. I mean, there I, I get into a couple just to see if I would like it. And they were okay. But I, I just can't get into the first person shooter. I need to see my person. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just old school because of SOCOM. SOCOM was a third person shooter. Ran around. Anybody that plays SOCOM and SOCOM 2, I wish I could find my old clan because that's one of the biggest things. It was so new. And you met so many people online like you wasn't used to. It. I mean, we had the Internet, AOL, AIM, all that good stuff, Messenger. But it was something different to play a video game. And, you know, these other people are into what you're into because they're in the video game. But they're also personalities like I had one of the clans I was in was from New York. And, and like I knew a, a lot of the people were from New York and they knew each other. So it was cool. It was cool just uh, vibing with them. And we planned a meet up. We never did. I, I, they might have, but I, I never met up with them. But I wish I knew the clan's name. I don't even know the clan's name, but I'm getting off topic because SOCOM 2 is so beloved. But this is what made it beloved. This PlayStation 2 here. 
I mean, it's just it, it was just a great machine. It was just a great machine. And this is just a little throwback Thursday for today. I'll never get rid of this. This will be in my collection. Uh, I need to clean it. I'll probably restore it somewhat, like take it apart and vacuum it out and do all that good stuff. But yeah, if, if you know, you know. If not, and before I go, one last thing. Like, I have nothing against Xbox, but I think a lot of people don't understand PlayStation came out first. So a lot of guys that are a little bit older were on PlayStation first. So they just kept, that's that's how I am. I have nothing against Xbox. Like, I just never gravitated towards it. I probably would like it. I, I like some of the games. I see some of the graphics are, you know, I can admit some of the graphics are better. Uh, but I, I just, I never could get used to the controller. I never could, I just didn't get into it because I was on PlayStation from the beginning. Before there was an Xbox. So, I mean, it just was, is what it is. All right, so thank you for joining me with this Throwback Thursday today. And I will get up with you guys in another video. Peace.